And this is when Cosmos gets hit by an instant death spell. Gosh darn it. Now it wants to boost, does it? We got revert. Ugh. Really? It's got 261 age. Let's just try and revive her. Luckily, everyone else is called guard, so the instant death spell is not going to be of any real use to anyone. In fact, it's pretty much pointless. So, it's going to hopefully use this to use revert. And then we're just going to kill it the next possible point score. I hope we get a times 10 for our effort of having to use revert. We could have put best ally on, really. That would have been really handy as well. But at the moment, he, he still hasn't really got enough EP to fully make use of it. Um, we'll have to kill it now. Save the brain ache. Or oh, not brain ache. That actually attack looks pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. Really? We'll see how this goes. Bang. I got the last laugh. As usual. Sir Good Evil Man. Yeah, we do have a long way to go. A whole level 41. Pointless small talk. Boom, fire. Well, there's a song which goes like, dance. Hey, it's a Bond film. I've done that before, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Really? That's how it flows to open the door? Oh, interesting. Oh, so that was actually necessary then. And that lowers the way to the boss. It should open the door behind us as well. Or not? Why is that door not open? Is that just there for viewing pleasure? I think it is there for viewing pleasure. Actually, let me take a look. This is going to annoy me if it's there for viewing pleasure. Why is that? Why? Why? Rain blade. Down, 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 down. Bring him down! Bring him down! Bring him down! Oh my... Stomach. So, oh, that was a cool attack. And she honestly dead. Mm, well, oh, we're actually all fairly. Unleash some of thy powers. Whatever, ma'am. Do whatever you want. Uh, welcome back. I kind of zoned out then. And my ear went funny out and I feel really faint. Which usually what happens after a caffeine rush has dropped. Um, so we're just going to go down here. But as I said, that point that we saw earlier opens up a wonderful area. Where we can um, now have fun and go back and save whenever we want. Really, it's only one of them. I'm tempted to use our dragon if everything wasn't fucking flying. Ugh. Why? Why is everything flying? Why? Yeah, well, well, if we have enough points, I will, I, I will bump up X Buster. Anyway, let's just keep packing away at this thing. Ready? I hope it boosts actually now. That means I can just boost straight after, and I'll know I'll get the turn in. Whereas otherwise, I could get like Shion to go, and it wouldn't kill it. Ha! Oh ho! Oh, you sir, fail so hard. Oh, that was failure right there. I love it when that happens. Failure. Oh my gosh. My ears, one of my ears is just gone. I blow my nose. I was feeling like up. My ear just went, like, lost. I hate it when that happens. That's why that rain blade is hitting us as well. Whoa, Shion. Calm down there, too. We've not got a time to 10 points in such a long time. I collected some good data. I collected some good data. My push-up bra is working okay. <laughs> my push-up bikini. For when things get really bad. Uh, I can actually see Shion doing that in a way. No, she can't. I don't know. I can't actually. Never mind. What about tech points? We've got to fill this episode out somehow. Luna Blade. We could bother, but how much is our, how much is X Buster for another one? Eight hundred and eighty. That's a long way off. How about skill points? Because she's supposed to be getting double the amount of skill. Not double actually. 
Okay, so what we got now? Let's uh, steal the life stone off her. 556. So got a long way before we can extract something like that from it. All oh, right. Uh, what we can ex what can we extract it? What's on the table? Uh, no one Neo Armay. He's still not even evolved yet. He'll be a while before he does. Okay, so where are we? Right, go down through here. We can't go down any further because the stairs have just broken and that pit leads to oblivion. So, well, it leads to obviously number it's floor zero. I, it makes me really interested. I'd love to find out more about this proto macabre and like explore everything. But that's one of my that's one of my things. Like Xanthaga makes you kind of want to explore more. It makes you want to do what you can do so easily in games like Metroid Prime. You know, discuss, dis explore. You know, Metroid Prime was so much about exploration and that kind of. But then again, I love the I love the idea that storyline is completely guiding you. I hate it sometimes when you're in a game and it's just it's just so open ended that you can do whatever you want. Like I love the ability to wander around here somewhat and just have a look at what I was to do. But I love the fact there's a story confining you. I'd more I'd more like it to have the story confined you to an area, but you can wander off. Because I just love that. Ah, there's so much in this game. What about? There's just so much in this type of game. So, ah, I don't know. It's a shame, really, because I'd love to know more about the world of Xenosaga. Granted, as it is, I know how the world of Xenosaga works, down to how you know the mythology works as well. Um, there's a brilliant read. It's um, the Perfect Guide, which was released. Basically, explains everything. Really well done really interesting as well. It like it makes some of the I would say religious aspects, but some of the aspects of how the world works and how it was formed um, make more sense than a lot of religions out there and don't spend half as much time saying oh you've got to you know, tell you to do like the, the bible or whatnot. No, it makes some sense. I, I'm not going to lie. As someone, who does, as someone who does physics, I like the fact my nerdery is being addressed to in this game. Oh well, my brother should be getting home soon. Wonder why he isn't. Oh well, whatever. Are we? We're not even nearly there yet. Look at her. 586. So annoying. Anyway. Actually, I think that was him now. So BRB. Back. So let's talk. Anything here? Nothing else here? Depressing. I want there to be more information. Oh well, let's go out here. And we will get our uh, uh, final item. An M chip guard. This is everything we can do um, in the current area. We've got all the items so far. Um, so, yeah, we're going to head to a save point. And we'll be off. In fact, probably that'll end up splitting the 20 minute episode above around some of this episode. But yeah, I'd really like to have kind of free roaming in this area. It's so. Oh, I love it. I love the idea, you know. Oh, I don't know. I'd love to know what you know what exactly went on in Proto Macabre. I'd love to know exactly what went on during the Song of Nephilim. There's like so many things I'd love to know exactly um, when what happened. And it's such a shame that you can't you know ever know that now because of the way Xenosaga happened or didn't happen. I guess it's it's it is a shame. It is a complete shame that uh, Xenosaga went the way it did. But the project was far too ambitious. They wanted to do a bunch of six games. Now, no series I know has spanned a successful series of six games, but more importantly, no game I know has um, succeeded in spanning a series of more than three games with a storyline that continually flows on, but Xenosaga wasn't meant to even be like that. It was meant to have two games in each arc, but Cosmos was meant to be in all the arcs or something like that, or whatever. It's, it's a weird thing. I mean, as it is, I think the series turned out better the way it is now because the cuts forced Dance Saga 2 to be a nightmare and really turned it out to be a somewhat docked game. But that gave style, that gave rise to Dance Saga 3's wonderful visual style, which I can't really pl praise it enough. It is a truly fantastic emotional ride, and it fixes all the wrongs of Dance Saga 1 and all the wrongs of Dance Saga 2. Um, but it loses some of the charm and some of the originality that Dance Saga 1 had. Um, and loses some of the things from Xenosaga 2, but all in all, I quite like it, and, you know, 
I hope you'll join you'll join me for all of those um, coming soon. But I am looking at a way to make Xanus Saga 2 pass a lot quicker because it is, of course, my least favorite. Well, no, this is kind of my least favorite now, but it is it's a, it's a less favorite. But anyway, um, we're just going to look at what we can do with like skills and stuff. Oh my gosh, they're so far behind us. I don't know why I bother anymore. It's not like we need Junior. From now on, you're not forced to use any team. You can use whatever you want. There's nothing stopping you. Um, I really want to get X plus drop. Um, but there we go. Zero points. That's a bit grim, isn't it? Tech points, yeah. I'll, I'll put some tech points on character-wise if Xion can actually use any. Oh, dexterity. Surprise, surprise. Well, there we go. Xion can now learn everything. Cosmos. No point even bothering. Oh my goodness, he's got. He's, we've got to go through another whole entire set of. Wow, he's he, uh, he's he's dropped a little. Right, so what can we next boost up there? That's maximum. Okay, well he's got some work to be done on him then. I didn't realise he, he was in such a dire state. So anyway, um, we will see you in the next episode. Of Let's play Zen Saga. Um, at this point, I said you are free to wander right all the way back. There is only, let me just check for this, but I'm pretty sure there is only one more save point left. Yeah, there is only one more save point um, left at the end of the game. And that's it. You've completed the game. So, this is your penultimate save point. This is the last save point we will see on our journeys. So, um, epicness foreshadowing. In fact, the next, in the next, the, yeah, the next recording will be my last recording, without a doubt. Unless I was to go and just, I need to really hack to get those items. By hack, I mean, just, I can't be bothered sitting there, wasting my time doing all these mini-games, um, when the rewards out of them is only so I can show you. I mean, by hack, I don't, by hack I don't mean, oh, action replay the items, and I mean hack, so the items are easier to get. You know, like infinite money, which he said asked me one of them, and the infinite um, and the infinite time on the um, and goes on the the dropper one. For those of them, I have to put my save on the computer and then put my save back down on here as well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Xenosaga. See you guys then.